Hello, and welcome back to Spore. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the Creature Creator. Now, I really enjoy the Creature Creator, and I think it's pretty neat, because it allows you to create a wide variety of creatures, even if you're like me and you have no artistic talent. And the way it does this is through a clever little system of basically snapping together parts. Um, your base creature is just a vertebrae, a spine. Uh, and you can make it short like this, or um, you can stretch it out uh, to be really long. Um, this is about the maximum length here. Uh, and as you can see, you've got individual vertebrae that you can make fat or skinny. Uh, we're going to go with a medium-sized creature. Oh, wait. Uh, the other thing you can do is twist your spine into crazy shapes. I don't know how a creature like this would get around, but um, I'm guessing it would look pretty silly. Okay, so we're going to start with a medium-sized creature, and we're going to be just a regular quadruped for now. Uh, so let's go with, let's say, eight vertebrae, and then uh, we can bend this into like a neck. Or at least we could, if it was going to be... There we go. All right. And then we're going to make the back all fat. And then the top narrow. Then a bulge right there for a head. Okay. So there is the body of our creature. It didn't take a lot of... Uh, work on our part. Now we can add parts to it. Um, the thing uh, that kind of annoys me about the creature stage is that you're limited in mouths uh, based on what diet you had as a cell. Uh, as you can see, we've got carnivore mouths up here, and then herb uh, herbivore and omnivore mouths that are grayed out here. We will never find these two types of mouths wandering around in the creature stage. We're only going to find carnivore mouths, which kind of sucks because it seems to me reasonable that a creature could change its diet over millions of years, but uh, I guess Spore disagrees. Okay, so the farther to the right you go, the more powerful the mouth is. Um, each mouth has different specialties, although carnivore mouths are pretty homogenous. Uh, our best one right now are the handables, uh, because they give us uh, a health boost in addition to a level 3 bite. Um, but then our creature would have to be some kind of creepy bug-like animal. So I'm just going to go with the terror pin here, because it looks like a regular animal mouth. Uh, Alright, and then with these we can widen them, narrow them, we can give it an overbite, like so, or an underbite. Let's go with a big schnoz creature and a little wider. Okay, and then we can also uh, lengthen or shorten. We'll go mid-length here. Okay, now eyes, you need eyes to see, uh, but which eye you choose doesn't matter. Like if we're going with the bug creature, we could choose these larva eyes here, but I think they're creepy. So we're gonna, just going to go with a regular animal type eye, a felizard. Then you can change the rotation, the size, um, or the other rotation. Okay, there we go. A uh, cute little fellow, I guess. Kind of looks like a, a little goofy, but that's all right. A lot of our creatures are going to be goofy. Then we could add cosmetic things like ears and noses, but... I've decided that this guy is going to be a lizard, and so he doesn't have any uh, visible uh, parts like that. Okay, arms and legs. The arms and legs don't really matter. Again, they're just a cosmetic thing. Um, they have different, uh, like, knee shapes, uh, but you can further customize them by, you know... Uh, by raising or shrinking the type, or the knee, or the thigh, or the calf, or something. Okay. So two-legged, no, let's make him a quadruped. Four-legged. 
There we go. Four-legged creature. And then um, we could put hands even on legs. Oh, yeah, you can do... You can do real crazy stuff with your creature's uh, limbs, too. Uh, we're going with the normal creature, but we could do... We could get, make him like a, a three-legged or even two-legged. Um, well, you know. It's something that we could do. But I've seriously messed it up now. Oh, well, that's what it's going to look like. Uh, why? Because I don't feel like fixing it. Also, it looks like a weird alien creature. Okay, so your feet have different abilities. Um, oh, well, uh, showing hands, they can pose or strike, um, but we're not having any hands because we're a quadruped. Although, if you wanted to, you could put a hand at the end of your leg. Um, it looks ridiculous, uh, but um, there you have it. Okay, so feet have different abilities. Uh, the most important one is speed, in my opinion, but you can do, your feet can do a variety of uh, other useful things for you, like help you sprint, or jump, or charge, or sneak. Um, Dancing is also the other important one, because that helps you out socially uh, with befriending other creatures. And we're getting to the point in the stage where having a wide variety of social skills is important, unless you want to just uh, eat everything. Okay, and then we have natural weapons here um, that can help you charge, or spit, or strike. Um, we're going to go with the strike and give ourselves horns. Okay. Um, this will really help out uh, when attacking. Okay, and then we've got a variety of minor details, none of which we could afford. But they help you charm, or give you extra health, or, you know, we could have wings later on if we get the, the uh, DNA for it. Okay, so paint mode. Now, your creature, uh, paint mode is remarkably versatile. Uh, you can go with the base paints here, um, but I don't like to do that because it chooses the color for you. Your color is determined by which pattern you've got. So I like to go with the partial styles. Uh, let's blank out our creature here so that we can be totally gray and start from scratch. Okay, so level one is a base, and this gives you a texture. Um, and as you can see, some of these are pretty attractive some of these less attractive. Um, I said earlier that I think our creature is a lizard, so I'm going to go with um, like a pebbly uh, scaly thing here. But I'm going to change the color. Uh, you know, uh, if you hold down you can get a more detailed color wheel here. Like, okay, there we go. And then we can add details with the coat, uh, like stripes or spots. Uh, I'm not seeing any that I particularly like, so I'm just going to go with gray. And then we got like an undercoat here. And you can get creatures with a wide variety of uh, different appearances by messing around with this, these sorts of things. Um, I'm not going to experiment for too long because uh, that would be boring, but there we go. And then it is a land fish no longer. It is now a land lizard. Uh, okay, we'll just call it that, the land lizard. Unlike other lizards, it does not live in the sea. Apparently, I've decided on this planet, um, lizards live in the ocean. Okay, and that's the creature creator. Uh, so now that we've got our creature, we can take him out on a little test drive. And not the most elegant gate in the world, but very alien and weird. I kind of like it. Um, 
And with this thing, you can make your creature do different uh, poses. Hey, oh, now it's happy. Um, this is just for your own amusement. You can change the background. What would it look like on the Space Age colony or in the fiery pits of Morador? That's what our creature would look like. Hey, Sauron, I've got a new recruit for you. Okay. And then we could also spawn babies. Yes, M scenic Mordor, the perfect place to raise a family. All right, well, that's the creature creator, and we're going to see a lot more of it uh, as the game goes on, and we'll see if we can't eventually get a suitable humanoid for our later stages of the game. Until then, uh, farewell.